Hi, good afternoon. Today is uh, Tuesday, uh, May 12, and uh, this is again uh, Lito Mendoza, the real estate salesman, the salesman, the, the investor, the lessor. Uh, this is my, I think, fifth day, and uh, our subject today is more on the income potential on rentals. So that is the topic that I'll discuss to you today. Yesterday, I discussed to you on to negotiate on how to pay, how to make payments to the seller, and then uh, whether you'll pay in cash on installment. So uh, today, uh, I uh, would like to discuss you the, the next topic. But meantime, Sometimes I forgot some issues that I would like to raise to you, like the uh, last time I discussed to you the selection of the site. I forgot to mention a very important aspect of inspection of the property. Okay, you are interested to buy the property, and then you decided to buy the the unit. So you agreed already on the price. And then you intend to make a payments, but beforehand, I would like to discuss to you some issues on how to reinspect the building, the unit. So this is some tips on the bis on how to on the manner of visiting the property. So definitely, so if you are a part-time uh, investor or first-time buyer, so you're working, so definitely either you'll go there on Saturday or Sunday morning or Saturday afternoon or Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon. So this is on weekend. So there are three times... Or, or period where you will inspect the, the house. So, this is on the regular days. So, siyempre, kung nag-work ka, absent ka lang. Tingnan mo ng lunes. Tingnan mo kung anong traffic flow. Very important, ang traffic ng lunes. And then, siguro, magtagal ka doon na, ano, kumain ka ng lunch somewhere. And then, busy tayo muli ng afternoon, mga 4 to 5. And then you go home and see the traffic situation on that time. So many things you will notice on regular days is different than the weekend. Okay? On weekend, siguro maraming, maraming ka makikitang uh, tao sa subdivision or maraming tao sa park, maraming tao sa yan. And then sa ordinary days naman, pag nagbisita ka, walang tao sa subdivision, mga papasok sila at darating sila, yung mga residents sa loob. So makikita mo ang, ang situation inside the subdivision or the road going to the subdivision that, you, that the property is situated. So yun. And then... Uh, what else? And then, so you visited on the regular days, uh, Monday, oh, Friday, pwedeng hindi na. Bagay Friday, ibang Friday eh, because usually Friday is maraming, ano, it's busy day. Pero kung yun eh, nasa outskirt ng city, like uh, Santo Tomas, uh, Cabuyao, Santa Rosa, Binyan, more or less, hindi naman masyadong uh, magbiba yung traffic situation like those in the north so yung uh, Balagtas Marilao, May Kawayan and then yung pala nga lang ng bagong uh, lugar do yung San Simon nagpupunta ko sa San Simon madalas pagkahapon ang traffic I mean, yung pag uwi mo traffic, kailangan lang you have to go there uh, and if you're there, you have to move out at 4 o'clock kasi pag inabot ko ng 5 o'clock. Meron mga ganun situation. Tulad sa sa, ano, sa, sa Rosario, uh, Cavite. 
from Kala, no, no, from uh, Naia, Coastal Road, to Bacau, may Bacau doon, eh, Centennial Road, and then yan. Walang trap yan. Pagdating yan ng, ano, ng, uh, sa labasan sa, uh, sa, sa PESA Economic Zone, ang daming tao sa mga traffic. So, kailangan alam, <laughs> alam mo, ano. So, if I go to, to uh, Rosario or to Tansa, where uh, we have now, uh, I pro will be having a project because we bought some properties there. So, dapat alam kung anong oras pupunta. So, sa Tansa, ang traffic sa Jansyo noon, sa may Magnol, sa may Robinson, sa Robinson Mall. Kapag dumaan ka doon ng uh, morning, and uh, 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock ang traffic. So, dapat pagpupunta mo doon, between 1 to 4. 1, punta ka na doon, 4, babalik ka na. Before, before 4, kailangan mga 3.30, balik ka na. Para hindi ka matraffic sa junction. So, may mga ganun situation. That's why you should know the character of the, the place. Now, misan, balang araw, magkukomplain sa'yo yung, yung, yung tenant. Baka sabihin mo, ang traffic dito, yun yung pagka meron, andon ka na. Mamalimutan ko. Sabi mo, matraffic, maraming tao. Eh, ganun talaga. Sign of progress. So, Pag-explain mo lang. Okay. Ito, nang, ang gusto kong i-share with you. Yung bumisita ng gabi. Night time. Yan. I don't know whether you will visit it on Saturday night or say Monday, Wednesday, or Friday night. This is a must for investor like you or to the buyer itself. You should visit the location at night time. Iba ang gabi kaysa araw. Kasi usually ta kayo, siguro, ba araw lang kayo nagbibisita. Pero if you are an investor, if you are a first-time buyer or a regular buyer, or you should always visit the site on night time. At least yung seven, between 7 to 9. Bakit? Kasi makikita mo doon ang access, yung maganda ba ang traffic, maganda ba ang ilaw sa, sa on the way, at doon makikita yung, yung, ano, yung guard, kung tama ba ang implementation ng security ng guard. And then pagdating doon sa subdivision, maliwanag ba ang subdivision? Mal -mal maliwanag ba yung, yung bahay mo? Pa ang dilim-dilim. Oh my God, baka siyempre, misan di mo mapansin, ang poste malayo pala sa'yo eh. So yun, kailangan. Yan, number one yun. Na huwag niyong uh, kalilimutan pagka bumibili ng bahay o property. Kailangan, uh, na lalo na pare-renta, o ikaw ang gagamit. Kailangan, eh, siyempre, balang araw, baka ikaw din ang gumamit. O, so, siguraduhin, na maliwanag. Sigurado mo, makikita mo kung maliwanag. Kaya kung madilim naman eh, at maganda talaga ang lokasyon, so, request mo lang sa Homeowners Association na lagyan ng ilaw. Mag-request ka sa, ano, sa, what you call me, sa, ano, later on, you can make some, you know, recommendation. Member ka ng association, pwede ka nang mag, ano, mag-recommend. Lagyan ng ilaw yung mismong malapit sa bahay mo. And then, next, on night time, you will see the traffic. Yun yan, sinasabi ko. The traffic situation in the area, very important yun. And then, ito pa isa, yung noise. Maingay ba sa gabi? Oh, misan, ang tricycle ba nakakapasok sa loob ng subdivision or sa labas lang? Ah, baka naman pagka, ano, check mo kung place mo, malapit din sa, sa garahe ng mga tricycle. Yung mga ganun ba? Kailangan ng tricycle. So, you should check uh, what are the environmental issues. Kung may noise ba? Yun. Kung... <laughs> Ito pa isa. Baka marami nagiinom. Marami nagiinom sa labas. Marami ba nagiinom mga kapitbahay? Misan. Pag uwi mo, ikot-ikot ka, ikotin mo yung subdivision. Nakikita mo, misan. Pag declassing subdivision, siyempre, bawal yung maginom yun. Pero minsan, pagka yung mga, uh, ano ba tawag yan, sa community, may maraming nagiinom sa labas ng ano. O, oh, yan. 
wala sa bagay association ng bahala diyan so you can request the, sub the subdivision the homeowners na kung pwede bawal ang maginom at saka pahubad-hubad na nagiinom din sa labas alam mo minsan mainit lalabas sa sa pay sa, sa ano sa what's up call it eh, sa sa daan para mahangin yung ibang mga karakter kung mga malalaking subdivision naman tsaka mga mahusay yung well managed wala yan bawal yan so yan lang medyo and then the neighbor, neighborhood yung misan yun nga neighborhood yung mga nagiinom mga maraming mga ano maraming palakad-lakad yun tsaka yung nupla dito yung environmental issues baka misan sa gabi may amoy may factory malapit may amoy so yun chichikan mo rin yun buksan mo yung aircon ng LS check buksan mo yung kotse mo para maamoy mo kung ano kung mabango ba or uh, or meron ba meron diyan gawa ng plastic gawa ng alcohol gawa ng ah uh, magmaganda kung gawa ng bread meron diyan sa Laguna gawa ng bread pag dumaan ka doon yung mga neighborhood ang bango para ka nasa tabi ng bakery so yan ang tatandaan niyo ah uh, uh, to visit at any given time. Kung may time ka din lang. Talagang gano'n ang ano eh. Talagang gano'n ang, ang investor eh. Yan talagang buyer. You have to invest para masatisfied nakalagay yun sa ano eh. Satisfied. Hindi pwedeng, hindi na, okay na yan. Tingnan natin. Hindi man tayo titira dyan eh. Hindi, hindi yun. Dapat talaga ano. So, that's all. For the meantime, I'll discuss this. I'll, I'll take a short break. For this, I discussed to you, yung nalimutan ko, I forgot this tip on how to visit on uh, regular days and on the night time. So, meantime, I'll check my volume kasi maraming nag, uh, nagte-text sa akin na mahina daw ang volume ko, hindi maganda yung volume. So, the audio is not good. So, next time... I will ask my son to buy the microphone. Naglagay na nga ako ng ano, I don't know whether it is malakas. So, but after this, I'll discuss to you. Mag-break muna. And uh, I will uh, discuss to you the income potential on rentals. So, that's another issue. Basically, I'm already in the by fifth day. So, maybe... Uh, on the real estate investment, I'll still have to dis to meet you on uh, mga three to four days. Marami pa. But after this, uh, maybe I'll do some research on real estate. But I would like to to uh, discuss also to some as aspiring uh, salesman or agents, or for those who would like to be a salesman. So, I would like to discuss on the future subject, yung, uh, the, habit, the habit, habits of a successful uh, salesman or habits of a successful person. Yan, hindi maubusan. I think I have 10 habits to discuss with you in, on a different day. The, uh, the uh, habits of a successful uh, salesman, whether in real estate or in ordinary life, in the office, because everybody is salesman. You have to sell yourself. So even in business, even in the house, even to your wife, you have to sell yourself. Yeah, misan, siempre sa, sa bahay, uh, you have to sell. You have to make some effort. You have to select. Good words, you have to be humble, you have to be understanding. You know, salesman, a character. Kaya, kaya ngayon, kaya minsan, uh, my, my wife uh, is very supportive to me, to what I'm doing, because uh, uh, I can share to you, to, especially to those who are uh, um, audience who are renting, they will learn. And might be inspired, and then uh, actually uh, in the last four days, four weeks, alam mo siya dong ginagawa. I always, always uh, read books. 
ang dami ko na siguro mga apat o limang libro ay the, the most significant is the life yon libro sa likod the life of Justin Trudeau the Prime Minister of Canada binasa ko yung kapal nyo I'm inspired he is very humble very outgoing masipag so yan and then the other one now I'm reading the money making the money making of my mom in the US it's a book written by a lady author ang galing it's more on it's more on financial freedom actually i would like to discuss to you the financial freedom kaya nga ito talaga ng uh, real estate investment is intended for those uh, who are renter those who have some properties this is uh, intended for you and the real mission of that is real estate uh, financial freedom. So, katulad nito, uh, we cannot work. And then, kung ikaw yung nag uh, renta ka ng bahay, siyempre, problema ang pambayad ng renta. Ngayon, kung ikaw eh, hindi ka na nagbabayad ng renta, laking tulong sa, sa panahon ngayon. Wala kang binabayaran. Doon naman sa mga nagninegosyo na uh, walang backup kung wala kang silent income paano mo babayaran ng mga empleyado kaya ngayon uh, two months binayaran ko yung empleyado ko ng ano ng pool and then the, the third month 50% siguro okay na rin to di ba and then maybe they can secure uh, the other balance to the to the uh, doll they, they said they will request so but still i provide them a good uh, uh, supply of support during pandemic what else so i will i will uh, have a break uh, again thank you lord for giving us uh, the grace for to, for today and then uh, God bless.